Hi, I'm Chris from Katie's Bubbles, and you're watching Sharpologist. Sharpologist.com Hi, Mantic59 here. I'm at the Maggards Meetup in Michigan, and I'm speaking with Chris Cullen with Katie's Bubbles. Thank you for coming down and talking with me, Chris. Thank you, Mantic, for having me. So, very briefly, tell us who you are, kind of your background, how did, uh, the, how did you find yourself uh, coming to Maggard's here today? Well, uh, quite a few years back, uh, I developed a strange hobby of making bar soap. Um, and that hobby of making bar soap always grows and expands um, because one of the challenging things is trying to figure out how to make shaving soap. Um, and as with any hobby that it winds up becoming expensive, you have to find some way um, to put money back into the hobby. Otherwise, um, in my case, my wife um, starts saying, you're spending all this money, where's it going? Um, so I formed Katie's Bubbles to have a way to funnel some money back into the hobby so that this way I could buy better ingredients, expand, um, try out different things. Um, the name of the company came about um, and it's been talked about in other videos. Um, Katie's little brother, his name is Christopher, happens to be autistic. Um, and at that point in our lives, uh, everything revolved around him. So when I was coming up with a name for this company, because I was going to register it with the state and do all the necessary things to be legal and collect tax and so on and so forth, I had to settle on a name. Um, but since everything was set around Christopher, um, we named the company after my daughter so that this way um, she had something that made her feel special when she was getting pulled this way and that um, because we had to take Christopher to um, an early intervention, to an occupational therapy, to a physical therapy, um, to another doctor's office, to a surgery here, to a surgery there. Um, so she had something that was her own um, and now uh, she'll walk up to any stranger and go, hi, I'm Katie of Katie's Bubbles. Um, I wish I could have brought her with me uh, today, but she had a birthday, par birthday party today that she was attending. Well, happy birthday to her. Where are you from? Where, where is we UK? live on the, uh, the, the shore of New Jersey, a town called Forked River. Um, it's not forked, it's forked, uh, which is a common misconception. I deal with it all the time. Uh, it was actually uh, set up originally by uh, the Lenny, Len Lenny Lenape Indians, uh, is where the, uh, the, the name came from, which is why it has this strange pronunciation. And is Katie's Bubbles your full-time business now? Now it is. Uh, it originally started uh, back when I, as just a side hobby, um, and at that point in time I was working with Sears. Um, but when uh, my employment with Sears ended, uh, I figured that it was time to be my own boss and not place a faith in somebody else to take care of my family anymore. And how long ago was that? That had, I separated from Sears August of 2013 um, and I launched full-blown online um, in early 2014. Wow, great. So give me an idea of your uh, kind of your development or manufacturing process. How do you go about uh, physically making all these soaps? Well, I've got it um, set up right now. Uh, it, um, as with almost any hot process soap maker, you start off with a crock pot. The crock pot only goes so far because you can't get by a crock pot that's bigger than seven quarts. Maybe an eight quarter if you get lucky. Um, but now I'm actually set up where I have multiple 22 quart stainless steel um, stock pots set up on uh, induction plate burners. Um, so that this way um, I can put out on, a good day, 300-ish soaps. Wow. And wow. when I figure out how to actually rearrange the workspace to fit them, um, I have a 60-quart pot laying around um, that I've used once, but it's, it's too big and too cumbersome. Yeah. Where do you find your creativity for getting some of the scents that uh, everyone enjoys so much? Well, you've got... <laughs> Everything in life can, can be an inspiration for a scent. I've got a scent for my favorite beverage. Um, <laughs> I've got friends that, that give me ideas. Um, I have a, there's a gentleman that I'm a friend with in Massachusetts who loves to go to Cape Cod. And he, um, he always talks about his vacations there and the, the cranberry bogs and so on and so forth. And last year, Cape Cod Cranberry came out. Great. So speaking of products and scents, what's, the, uh, what's your most popular product right now the most popular scent by far as 
is and has been uh, La Pimenta La Vie, uh, thanks to the uh, exposure it was given by Mr. Nick Shaves. Hmm. And can you kind of describe the, the scent of that? It's, um, it's a blend of sweet fruits, um, some, some gourmand vanilla and chocolate, uh, a little bit of musk, and a variety of spices. Oh, okay. All right. What's, what's your personal favorite? My personal favorite to... Lately, I've been really into the, the Florentine Fern, um, but if I have to pick one from that, that, if I had to flat out say there's one scent that I won't get rid of, it's Water Liptus. It's what? Water Liptus. Water Liptus. It's a blend of watermelon, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Um, and while I love the scent, there's also a, a very sad story that goes behind it. Um, so it, it has some sentimental meaning. Oh, I see. Okay. Where, uh, where can people find Katie's Bubble Soaps? What's kind of your distribution right now? Obviously, Maggers, yeah. You've got uh, Maggard Razors. You've got my own personal website uh, for katiesbubbles.com. You've got um, italianbarber.com. Uh, you can walk into Pastores in New York. You can walk into Q Brothers Mers Apothecary in Chicago. Um, being that they carry them in Chicago, they also have them up on their Small Flower website. Um, they, uh, through Small Flower, they also post them to Amazon. Uh, you can find them on West Coast Shaving. You can find them on Shave Revolution. You can find them on Razor Blades and more. Um, I think that covers most of them. Great, great. I'm sure I left somebody out and somebody will be mad at me, <laughs> uh, but I think that covers most so of them. So a fairly good wide distribution. I've got the the, the three, co uh, the East Coast, the West Coast, the Middle. Uh, oh, and if you're in Australia, you can also find them at the Stray Whisker. Hmm. Okay, all right. So uh, Chris, what's next for Katie's Bubbles? Right now, um, I've got a new formula that um, we've tested out. Um, it's tested very well uh, in terms of getting feedback from uh, people in terms of its slickness, performance, cushion. Uh, it's, it's an improvement over what we've put out in the past. We're going to be switching over to that for the primary line. Um, and other than that, uh, as I had mentioned to you before, we're in a bit of a holding pattern because we're waiting for our tax permit um, from uh, the, the federal government so that we can start producing alcohol-based aftershaves. Um, and along with that, there might have to be an uh, eau de parfum or an eau de toilette that comes out. Wow. Okay, great. All right. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. And good luck here at Maggard's and with Katie's Bubbles. Thank you, Mark. Have a good one. Thank day. you. Hi, my name is Mark, otherwise known as Mantic59. And my channel is all about what your father didn't teach you about shaving. 